The next item on the agenda is the report by our, our colleague, um, uh, Madam Dita Kharansova, and it's on the general product safety regulation. And I give now the floor to our rapporteur. The floor is yours. Take your time. Don't <laughs> rush. Thank you very much, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President. Well, this law is our safety net and constitutes the general framework for ensuring the safety of all products circulating in the union's market sold offline and online. The new benefits for consumers from these regulations are long and important. Companies will have to make sure they have internal processes in place to make sure that they only produce or sell safe products, from smartphones to penny toys. Just because something is cheap is no excuse. More requirements to report if anyone in the supply chain sees something dangerous. They are now see something, say something requirements. Companies will also have to keep records of who they buy from and to which other companies they sell to. This will mean we can trace dangerous products. No longer can a company say, yes, it is unsafe, but I don't know where it went to. They must know. Chemicals are the most reported problem with products, but it is not always the final producer who is the source of the problem. Every product has to have a legal representative inside the European Union, even if it is product sold straight from China. This means there will be someone to hold responsible if something goes wrong. 50% of dangerous products come from China. Today, you just get a random address somewhere that is impossible to check, let alone find someone responsible there for what they make. Now, every product must have on the label the name of the legal representative in the European Union, their address and email address. Moreover, you can sue them if they don't solve the problem, and to make sure it works, consumer can sue as a group. We made sure that all accidents and reports of dangerous products must be checked and reported to the authorities. If someone reports something to a marketplace or trader, they have to report it. This will help governments spot bad products faster. This law makes it so online marketplaces must remove dangerous products and fast. Two days maximum and it must be gone. Today, if a product is removed, it often just comes back. We can see this especially with sales of electronics and toys. This cannot happen anymore. Marketplaces must remove all sales for the same products and prevent any new sales to reappear. No matter the trader, no matter what name they call them, products have to remain removed. And if you brought something and the online shop or normal shop has your email, they will have to email you if something you bought is recalled. How many people check the recall websites every day? How many people know that these websites exist? No one. And now you will not have to do it. They will have to tell you directly. Finally, a repair, a replacement or your money back. Companies have to give you a choice of at least two of them if you brought a recalled product. Altogether, this regulation is a big win for consumers, win for safety and a reason to feel free to shop anywhere in Europe, starting before Christmas next year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, much dear rapporteur. And now the floor goes to, uh, again, Executive Vice President Franz Timmermans. Thank you very much, President. Um, 
I'm really happy to be here today for this debate on general product safety regulation because uh, in, instead of Commissioner Renders, I'm doing the honours and uh, it is an important event. He, he can't be here, he has other obligations uh, this evening. Our single market is only as strong as a trust that citizens have in the safety of the pro products that circulate within it. And I think it is high time uh, that we uh, upgrade our product safety uh, rules because they're 22 years old and a lot has happened since then. Uh, and they were not ready, the present rules are not ready for the digital age, where most of us are not just shopping in shops, but also online. Um, and um, I'm sure that certainly for many in this room, that's an understatement, uh, given the time you have to spend working. So now, also thanks to uh, the rapporteur and, and this parliament, we will have a new general product safety regulation that is in fact a new safety net for European consumers and one that is solid and future proof. And uh, I really want to warmly thank the rapporteur and the IMCO committee for this achievement. Extremely well done. Let me highlight a few of the accomplishments. First, the introduction of the obligation to have a responsible person inside the EU who should care about the safety of your product and whom you can call, contact, and in the worst case, take to court if there is a problem. Now, all of us will have that responsible person for all products in the single market, including those that aren't under harmonized European rules. As said, we're very happy that the new rules also guarantee the safety of products sold online. It contains new obligations for online marketplaces to ensure product safety, building up on the Digital Services Act. It is very important to be cautious in the area of consumer safety. Um, it means that if a business or a government uh, is active in the market, it has to assess the risk and take any measure that is fit. It's crucial for consumers and it's fully proportionate in our view. If products are dangerous, truly dangerous, the new and stronger framework for recalling these products should, should avoid the danger that these products remain uh, at the disposal of our citizens. I commend Parliament in particular to include the possibility for consumers to seek collective redress in case of safety problems. Together they stand stronger and this can make a big difference in ensuring that these safety rules are implemented um, on the ground. Finally, we welcome that the final text provides for special protection of vulnerable consumers such as children and better access to information for people with disabilities. Adopting new rules is one thing, but implementing at home and in uh, the public uh, uh, sphere uh, doesn't mean much uh, if it is not enforced. We need member states on board to do this. The Commission will do its utmost to coordinate product safety activities at the level of member, state, member states, including with support from the single market programme. We believe that the new regulation is a major step forward to protect consumers against dangerous products, even when markets, technology and in fact the whole world is changing very fast. With this law, you will give all of us a strong safety net that, we can, that you can be very proud of. Thank you. Vielen Dank, Herr Timmermans. Und der nächste Redner ist der Herr Kollege René Repassi. Bitte. Herr Präsident, verehrte Minister, der Ausfuhr- und Vizevorsitzende von der Europäischen Kommission, Kolleginnen und Kollegen. Es war notwendig, die Produktsicherheitsrichtlinie aus dem Jahr 2001 an die Moderne anzupassen, vielleicht sogar die Postmoderne. Verbraucherinnen und Verbraucher kaufen inzwischen im Internet. Sie verkaufen verstärkt Produkte aus Drittstaaten und es gibt immer mehr neue Produkte, die insbesondere mit Software verbunden sind. Das galt es zu adressieren. Es ist daher gut, dass wir diese Produktsicherheitsverordnung bekommen und das Update haben. Es ist vor allen Dingen sehr gut, dass wir eine verantwortliche Person in der Europäischen Union bekommen, die die Verantwortung übernimmt und in Verantwortung genommen werden kann, wenn wir Drittstaatsprodukte, die über Drittstaatsmarktplätze den europäischen Binnenmarkt erreicht haben und schädlich sind, hier auf den Markt gekommen sind. 
Es ist deswegen auch gut, dass wir Online-Marktplätze benannt haben. Aber wir brauchen mehr als die Benennung von Online-Marktplätzen. Wir brauchen konkrete Handlungspflichten von Online-Marktplätzen. Sie sind das entscheidende Tür für schädliche Drittstaatsprodukte auf den Binnenmarkt. Der Digital Service Act ist hierbei eine gute Grundlage und ein guter Querschnittsrechtsakt. Aber das reicht nicht aus. Das ist nicht die abschließende Regelung. Wir brauchen mehr. Deswegen fordere ich die Europäische Kommission auf, legen Sie bitte einen eigenen Rechtsakt für Online-Marktplätze vor, damit wir hier die, die entsprechende Sicherheit für Verbraucherinnen und Verbraucher schaffen. Ganz wichtig, das Recht auf Reparatur. Gut, dass wir in der Produktsicherheit jetzt klargestellt haben, dass bei einem Rückruf nach Ablauf der zweijährigen Gewährleistungsfrist Verbraucherinnen und Verbraucher Rechte haben, konkrete Rechte. Aber diese stehen immer noch unter dem Vorbehalt, was Hersteller und Herstellerinnen ihnen ermöglichen. Verbraucher müssen es sich aber leisten können, für die Reparatur zu gehen. Es braucht eine Pflicht zur Reparatur, und zwar eine solche, die Herstellerinnen und Hersteller nicht einfach zurückweisen können, wie es im aktuellen Vorschlag zum Recht auf eine Reparatur drin ist. Daher lassen Sie uns aufbauen auf dieser guten Grundlage, die wir bekommen haben, die aber noch lange nicht ausreicht, um den Verbraucherschutz in Europa sicherzustellen. Und das Recht auf Reparatur ist die nächste Chance, ein sozial gesichertes Recht auf Reparatur und ein solches, das auch tatsächlich eine echte Kreislaufwirtschaft herstellt. Vielen Dank. Ja, vielen Dank, Kollege Repassi. Und